Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the DiComfort G Archive 5 VNA or PAX on a Windows environment on Windows 11 using Docker Desktop. So DiComfort G Archive 5 is an open source picture archiving and communication system. So PAX and a vendor neutral archive VNA, but essentially it's, a, think of it as a DICOM archive, but I'm not going to go into the details of what DICOM is and what the PAX is. I assume you have some understanding about that already if you're installing the DICOM for G Archive 5. If you want more information, DICOM, uh, you can check out also my other videos. But anyhow, if you go here under Quick Links and DICOM for G Archive on GitHub, you will find the DICOM for G Archive Lite project here. The latest version currently is 5.33.0, released two days ago, so it's a very fresh one. So here if you scroll down all the way, you will find the installation instructions and running on Docker is the approach we are going to use, so we will click on this link. But I'll leave the link for the installation instruction page and also for the for G website. So Docker installation and the easiest setup is run a minimum set of archive services on a single host. So this is the one which we will do now in this video. So you will get three Docker images. So you will be running those three Docker containers. One is the archive, which is the DICOM archive itself with all the DICOM interfaces like DICOM web interfaces and the traditional DICOM interfaces for CStore and CFind and so on. And then you have the Postgres SQL container, which is running the database and OpenLDAP, which is running the configurations. So then if you scroll down a bit, you will find continue using Docker command line or Docker compose. And Docker compose is quite a bit easier, faster. So we will use that approach here. And you can go ahead and just create a Docker Compose YAML file and copy this YAML content from here. But this is meant for a Linux environment, so they don't give you directly an equivalent for the for the Windows environment. So we do need to modify a few paths here and also the time zone stuff is, is different. But I will give you in the video description the modified Docker Compose. And we will also have a quick look at what are the differences. So you can go ahead and on the C drive create a folder, for example, Dicom for G, and create the Docker Compose file here and make sure it don't add .txt or something like that. It needs to be dot, uh, .yaml. So like this docker compose dot .yml. Here I have the original one on the other one, so we can do a compare to see what are the differences. So You, you need to ch uh, the, the first side before the before the dots here uh, is for the host machine. So here you need to give a Windows path. So we created this Dicom for G folder already, but you don't need to create the other folders. The uh, Docker will take care of creating those. And if you're wondering about forward slash versus backslash. This is the correct format of even for the Windows environment because this is what Docker uses. And here we see that we remove those uh, time zone things because don't, those don't really exist in Windows in this way. We might get wrong times in the, but I, I didn't go ahead and do anything about solving that now. I assume you will use this just for testing purposes. So here also 
the changed path for the volume and here in the last one again removing those time zones and again changing the paths and that's all the changes you need i'm just showing you that we have a docker desktop installed here if you don't have docker desktop installed yet i'll leave a link down below in the description for my video on installing docker desktop it's quite easy to install so don't worry about that and next click on the start button type in cmd for command prompt and then you can choose here run as administrator and let's navigate to the folder we created so we have dicon for g here and we have the the file docker compose yaml here you can also see there are a few uh, troubleshooting tips here if you run into issues but i just tried the installation before and it worked fine so no no problems in this windows 11 environment so create and start the three containers by invoking docker compose p .conf.g update so let's just copy this command here go in here and give the command and we are done installation is completed and this was so fast because it didn't need to download the images because I, I did that just previously. You would see a pull request and it, well, depending on your network speed, it might take a couple of minutes to pull those images first and then it's, it's starting the Docker containers. So here under images, you would see the new Dicon for G images have arrived and you can see that the tag on this one is uh, 5.33.0 which is a very fresh image and uh, five days ago 1.62 gigabytes so if you're following this video and have issues then well, you, you can also install a tagged ver version with the yaml file so then you will just instead of getting the well actually if you use the same yaml file i have you can see here that it should specify the versions here so then you wouldn't have issues in starting up but anyhow under containers we can now see that all the three containers are running you can see the exposed ports for them and then we can go back to the instructions here so it they also give you the um, command line options for stopping and then starting again and also for deleting the containers but you can do that all while the docker desktop here you can right click and delete and stop and start and everything is here but still the guide ends here so you might be wondering well how to access the ui now so we actually need to scroll up to that docker command line installation instructions which are ending somewhere here and here we have a ui screenshot and they also show you the urls so you can access it via the 8443 port with https or you can access it via just the http on the 8080 80 port so let's just click here and open in new tab and we get into the user interface and we can see dicon for g here we can count of course it would be empty now and we can do a query for studies but um you can check in the video description my other videos on how to send studies in here and then you would see the count increasing if this video was helpful for you please give it a thumbs up thanks for watching